welcome to round three of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of June 26th. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. We're moms of teens and young adults and when it comes to parenting, we've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But we're still waiting for that day when we'll reach the finish line and have no further need to lay down in a dark room with a wet rag over our eyes worrying about something or other. Wednesday is complaint day here on the Parenting Roundabout and today we are complaining about a trend of people asking for money. (laughs) So recently there's been a slew, okay, a couple, but of um, (laughs) requests on social media uh, to either send cash for a graduation gift. And like, these are not, these are just acquaintances. So these are not like my best friend's daughter type thing but you know the mom has gone and posted this on her Facebook and she's got you know quite a few followers and announces that her daughter has graduated and um is requesting money for graduation gifts I've also well you've taught Catherine about the buy the bride a drink or buy the birthday (laughs) yeah like you, you see it on like car windows, like, yeah. you know, I graduated or, you know, it's my bachelorette party or, you know, I turned 21. If you want to buy me a drink, here's mm-hmm. my Venmo. And mm-hmm. I'm like, does anyone, does that work? <laughs> like, yeah. does anyone yeah. ever do that? I bet people do. Oh, yeah. and the other one I saw was um, baby gifts. So oh. they, they announced the pregnancy and then on Facebook and then said, if you would like to buy us a baby gift, here's our registry. All right. So I don't know. It's like, it's very, it's a very different approach. (laughs) (laughs) And that's very diplomatic. (laughs) I mean, I, I agree with what Terry was saying. Like, you know, you can just ignore it. Yeah. But it does, it does kind of, catch me off guard sometimes. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like it falls into, it's actually a little better than, but like when I graduated high school, we got printed graduation announcements yeah. and sent them to everybody my parents could think of. And there is no reason to send a graduation announcement without it being like, so send a gift, will ya? Right. <laughs> and I mean, I didn't know a lot of these people and we didn't necessarily think less of them if they didn't send a gift, but just send them. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe get a gift, maybe you don't. But at right. least, you know, you're giving people the opportunity to recognize <laughs> your fantastical achievement. So Facebook is even more diluted because it's not really directed at you personally. It's directed just at, hey, if you read this and want to give me some money, give me some money. If you read this and don't, hey, it's all good. Right. Um, if they were hitting you up in your DMs, that would be different. But, yeah. um, you know, I see so many things, like, uh, charities and different things that people are gathering money for. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong wrong with uh, taking a stab at it as long as you don't like list on your post. Okay, here's who has paid me so far. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. How about the rest of you? Anybody else? <laughs> I also Clock's think that ticking. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook is for some people anyway less of a just a wide range of friends and acquaintances, but the way they keep in t- in touch with old friends and family members who might in fact be interested in giving some money. Mm -hmm. So they just put it out there for whoever feels it's aimed at them. Right. Right. And, and that if you you don't wish to be aimed at, then duck. So (laughs) I don't know. Or or block. (laughs) Of course at my wedding, I walked around with a big, big uh, fabric bag and went table to table so that people could stuff money in it. So, um, you know, I would rather just put something on Facebook. <laughs> that was very embarrassing. So this is not as bad as that. Right. But about the same as sending out graduation announcements, because come on. Yeah. When when my daughter graduated, because it was 2020, we did yeah. send out mm-hmm. announcements um, just because, you know, we weren't going to be doing anything else. <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of the only 
the only thing we could do. Mm -hmm. Put a little enclosure that says, don't feel bad if you don't send her a gift, but she is not getting to have a party or a prom (laughs) or a graduation (laughs) ceremony or anything, but you know, whatever. Right. No pressure. And she did. She certainly did get some. Yeah. I mean, and we mostly send it to like out of town relatives and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Not, uh-huh. not to like our local friends, which is who we invited to the party. You know, like yeah. it was a different audience, right. really. So you didn't yeah, hit Nicole I, and me up. You could, I know, yeah, <laughs> like you know, slipped us a little announcement. And then we would have to go. Oh God, do right no, I guess. <laughs> So, because I have to talk to her every week. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna know I didn't send something. <laughs> <sighs> when when my son was having his first communion, um, my husband's grandmother passed away. Like, and so in the space of a weekend, he had his first communion, and then we flew back to Pennsylvania for his grandmother's for his, you know, my son's great grandmother's, um, funeral and, and wake and everything. And I was not expecting this, but at the funeral home at the wake, everybody was slipping cash to my eight year old. Oh Oh my gosh. Because they all heard that it had been his first communion. And they were all like, Oh, congratulations. Here, you know, it was like five sort of horrible and yet good timing. Yes. I mean, (laughs) because they certainly wouldn't have like maybe one or two of them might have mailed him a card, you know, but mostly it was just like people that he was only seeing because of this funeral. And right. so he was like, why, why are people giving me money? <laughs> I was like, just, just give it to me. I'll hold on to it. That's <laughs> funny. But he kind of, he kind of like raked in a yeah. pretty good sum. <laughs> oh, so he would have rather not lost his grandmother, his great grandma. Yes. Yeah. But it was, just a coincidence, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, if you want to give us money <laughs> <laughs> here on the podcast, you can just, just download it a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Or if, do it, you know, set up every device you have mm-hmm. to automatically download the podcast. And download all of them. We have many, many years of podcasts. That's right. Every now and then, I think somebody accidentally downloads all of them and our, our listen spike up. <laughs> I can't think of any other way, but right. just some poor soul has now several thousand episodes. Their entire, of roundabout. Their entire phone is filled. <laughs> like they have no room for anything. Else. And thank them very much. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Makes me feel good when I see that. And then right. I go see which episode did really, really well. I'm so excited to see it. And then it's like, you know, one, one, All one, of one, them. one, one, pages and pages and pages and pages. Yes. Well, you can you can do that and or you can tell a friend or five or yes. six friends. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. To subscribe. That would and be that's very kind. It, right? That's mm-hmm. it for today's round three. Tune in tomorrow when we'll obsess about family obligations, like family is obligated to give your kids money. Um, and then on Friday to see what we've come up with for our roundabout roundup picks this week. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. Now, if people go and listen, are we going to have to send them thank you notes? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.